If you've known for the past two or more months that the actuarial career would be perfect for you, but you haven't started taking any action towards it yet, then this video is going to ignite the spark in you that you need to get going. And if you are someone that has started on their actuarial journey, well, this video is going to give you tons of motivation to go start working on your actuarial goals like right away. So I use the DW Simpson Actuary Salary Survey to determine how much an actuary would make over the lifetime of their career. And the results really come down to when you get started in this career. But if you are someone that graduates and then starts working shortly after they graduate, you can expect to make about $7 million over the lifetime of your actuarial career. So since you are someone interested in the actuarial field, I know you want to understand all the nitty gritty math details about how I came up with that number. And I'm going to show you that. But what I think you're going to find even more interesting is at the end when I break down how much it's actually costing you every single day to delay or procrastinate on your actuarial goals. So let's get into it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so $65,000 per year starting out in the actuarial field seems really reasonable. Most likely someone in this position is going to have passed probably two to three actuarial exams. Now, in my experience helping members of the Actuary Accelerator community, I know that most of them are making about $65,000 per year around there when they get their first job. So this seems like a reasonable estimate. But that tends to increase quite quickly in the first few years because employers give raises and bonuses based on when you pass exams. And passing exams tends to happen quite quickly and quite frequently in the first five years or so. So at this point in your actuarial journey, you're considered an actuarial student by the company that you're working for because you're not fully qualified yet. So really the next four to five years or so are going to be spent passing exams in order for you to achieve your associateship degree. Now, associateship is basically just the first level of actuary. There's a second level called fellow that comes later and requires you to pass more exams. So with that knowledge that you'll be passing exams, getting raises and bonuses, and also by comparing that to the actuarial salary survey, I'd estimate that in about five years of working as a student, you'll be able to achieve associateship. So that means that in the fifth year of work, you're probably making somewhere around $105,000 per year. And we'll also add in a gradual salary increase from when you started to this five year mark. Okay, so now we are going to assume that you have achieved your associateship designation, which is a huge accomplishment. So for the next four years or so, you're probably going to spend those years passing more exams, the exams that you need to pass in order to become a fellow. And there are three of these exams. Now these exams are more difficult than the previous exams. They have more material on them and they're not offered to take as frequently as the earlier exams. So it can take quite a bit longer to pass these exams than it did for the earlier ones. So we'll assume that over the next four years, you're going to pass those three exams to become a fellow. So with those thoughts in mind and also referencing the salary survey, it's reasonable to expect that you'll be making somewhere around $133,000 per year at this stage. So once you pass those three exams, that means you're going to be a fellow or you're going to receive your fellowship designation. And this is the highest level of actual that you can be. This also means that from the time between when you are an associate and you achieve that designation to the time you achieve fellowship, you're going to be seeing a salary increase of about $7,000 per year. Now that might seem like a lot and it is, but the reason for that is that you're passing really difficult exams and getting bigger raises and bonuses from the company that you're working for. You're also gaining a lot of knowledge on the job. So that's something that employers will be paying for. You're also getting cost of living adjustments or COLAs, which are common for most actuarial positions and pretty much any position working in an insurance company. And oftentimes during this period between associateship and fellowship, it's fairly common for employees to move from one company to another and that can actually boost their salary quite a bit. Okay, so now let's look at the 10th year of work. By this point, you are a fellow and that means that you're done passing exams, but you do still have to keep up with professional development. And that basically means you're keeping up with things going on in the industry, you're furthering your knowledge continuously about your industry that you've specifically decided to specialize in. And that's that's done through things like online trainings and conferences. At this point, you're also able to take on more responsibility because you have that higher level knowledge after taking all the exams and becoming a fellow. You've also been working in the industry for 10 years, so you've built up all that actuarial intuition and knowledge over time. And since you don't have to study, you might be also
also willing to spend more time at work. So with all that knowledge combined and also referencing the salary survey, it looks like about a 5K, $5,000 increase per year in salary is reasonable. So we'll plot that now. So as you can see, someone that starts working in the actuarial field fairly early on in their career and stays all the way until retirement can expect to be making about $288,000 per year by the time they hit retirement. It's really difficult to predict this though because once you reach fellowship in your career, your career can go so many different ways. Some actuaries decide that they want to continually climb up the corporate ladder. They want to get higher and higher level positions. Many of them become CFOs, chief financial officers. Some of them become chief executive officers. Some of them become chief risk officers. So there's these higher level positions that actuaries often move into and those tend to pay a lot more than if the actuary decides to stay at a lower level management level, maybe first or second level manager of an actuarial team. So really there is a big wide range in what you would be making at this time, but we'll estimate at about $288,000. And that's most likely for someone that has decided to continually move up the corporate ladder and keep getting higher and higher level positions. Okay. Okay, so now let's add up all these annual salaries so that we can see how much you'd be able to make in a lifetime as an actuary, depending on how many years you'd be working in the field. But before that, if this video has been motivating to you so far, please give it a thumbs up to let me know and also so it can spread to more future actuaries that want to hear about these actuarial salaries. Thank you so much. So someone that spends 20 years in the actuarial field, probably starting around age 45 and retiring at age 65, we can expect them to make somewhere around 2,600,000 $198,000 over their lifetime in the actuarial career. Now we'll keep going. Someone that spends 25 years in the career, so probably starting around age 40 and retiring at age 65, we can expect them to make about $3,713,000 over the lifetime of their career. So if someone spends 30 years in the actuarial field, probably starting around age 35, retiring at age 65, we can expect them to make about $4,853,000 over their actuarial career lifetime. Then if we move on to someone working for 35 years, starting around age 30, we're looking at about $6,118,000. And finally, we get to someone that is probably starting around age 25 in the actuarial field and working for 40 years up until retirement at age 65. And for them, we're looking at about $7,508,000 over the lifetime of their career. So this is all really interesting to look at and it's probably very motivating too to see the potential that you have. But what I really want you to get from this is that waiting to start your actuarial career or procrastinating or delaying on your actuarial career is costing you a lot of money. If we take the difference between what someone would make if they spent 30 years in the actuarial field versus 35 years in the actuarial field, then we're looking at a lifetime salary difference of $1.2 million. That breaks down to about $240,000 per year and $650,000 per day. So my point here isn't to stress you out, it's not to make you anxious or nervous or to push you into something that you don't want to do. But what I'm hoping for here is that this lights a little fire under your butt to keep moving forward if you've already started on your actuarial career or get started as soon as possible if you know the actuarial career would be right for you but you just haven't taken any action toward it yet. This is motivating. And you don't have to be someone with a crazy high GPA. You don't have to be someone with an actuarial science degree. You don't have to be someone with an actuarial internship. And it's totally fine if you are someone that is not still in school and considering this later on in your career. These are the types of people that I help every single day in the Actuary Accelerator community and they're standing out to employers. They are getting interviews, they're getting hired despite being in situations that might seem a little bit less than ideal. So don't be afraid to invest in yourself either knowing that that's the potential you have to make going into this career. Okay, so that's all for today. If you want to know personally how much I made in my actuarial positions, then you can go watch this video next and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.